Welcome to Studio One Live. I'm Hey Rude the Guru, and this is Rude Radio. I know every town the same, every place I go. People tell their stories about the. Gentlemen, this is Hey Rude the Guru, aka Soccer God. Studio One Live Productions. Man, let's look at these maps one more time, and I'm gonna pose a question for you guys. Just look at this boat, and remember this boat. When I asked the question at the end, this is one of the first maps of America, and they have Florida on there, signifying a different set of people. And then they have, I can't read that, but then they got Panuco, more closer to Texas, Mexico, Mexico. Okay. And they don't even know how far this Mississippi River go in yet. Cool. Let's go to another one. Rarematps.com. Y'all can go there. Let's zoom in on this one. Let's zoom in. Cuba still has its name. La Florida. They know about the Appalachian now. Okay, Calicvas. I don't know what that means. I'm not doing the translation today, but we just want to ask a quick question. But they do have a lot of town. Zalisco. Okay, look at all these towns. Okay, I just did a video about Juneteenth in Mexico celebrating Juneteenth with some of the black people that supposedly escaped from Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina to get away from these people who are enslaving the Floridians not the slaves that came on the ship okay I'm going to ask the question right now I'm not going to save it for the end will it be easier for them to take slaves thousands of miles overseas or capture the people that are already here which is easiest Let's be honest. I'm not saying there was no slave boats ever. But what would be easier than to come over here in an army already prepared and then capture the people here? Or bringing people all the way over this sea when you got all these towns of people to exploit? Keep going. Look at this one. It's got a nice little reading here look at this Hispania big mound cities all throughout the land Florida and Cuba and all the places there just ask yourself that quick question let's be honest with ourselves these are the 1500 before you know the colonies ever uh, was was brought about and this is one of my favorite maps here where it says the Floridians, Florida, Florida, Floridanum. Okay, I translated that. The Florida boats, Floridian boats, some of that nature. Look at this. Look at all these towns. More and more towns being discovered. Chiaga now being discovered. They didn't put that. They didn't build that. They didn't build that. They just now finding out this is here. And they got some of the original names. So I'm going to ask y'all again, man. What's more likely than coming all the way over in one of these boats here, bringing people over, or capturing the people already here? Already here. I mean, you can go to any map you want. And you can see that there were towns and people already here. So it's easier to enslave the people already here. Opposed to bringing millions of Africans on boats all the way across this sea. And hope they and then making them work. No, buddy. I don't believe that one now. The more and more information age reveal itself the more and more information we have our hands on 
and now it's clear that they told us a slight lie about it okay it's clear they told us a slight lie about it Kong TV